How you doing everybody? It's Thursday, it's the 25th of February 2010 and uh, it's in the middle of the afternoon and before I start doing this little post today I just want to thank everybody for giving in the answers to the query that I posted yesterday about the concept of ownership and uh, the only reason I raised it is because you know, as you go through life and discussion, use these words and these concepts constantly on a day to day. I mean, this is a a, a politics stroke economics forum, so you're using constantly the concept of ownership and uh, and in thinking about it, which is what I thought about it over the last few weeks. I thought, like, you know, I'm going to query that because a lot of people have a funny notion about ownership. Like, I sense in the way they behave and. The, to speak about because it's just a legal parameter that's all it is it's not a real thing you don't own anything you cannot own anything except for tiny little things like your thoughts and your senses and your dreams and food when you ingest food you own it temporarily and all the rest of it you know but th that's it's extremely tenuous your, your concept of ownership like it's, it's an illusion it's an illusion put on top of us by society and uh, I th had time to think about that for a week or two before I did that little potion. But uh, I sensed about some of the responses that people thought that it was some sort of a trick question. I was asking, look, 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 we have to go back to basics here, what I'm about. I'm doing this. I'm not selling anything. I am not a member of any political party. I am not selling anything. I don't care whether or not you watch me, you don't. I am not a sex symbol or anything. I, as I say, I have nothing to sell. All I'm trying to do is, I'm a 62 year old bloke who I don't think I've got too much longer to go in this world. And all I want to do is try and impart a little bit of what I have sensed out of this nonsense thing that we live on. The mud ball flying around the big star. Our so called reality. I'm just trying to impart a little bit of that. But a lot of people out there who some some of them are brilliant some of them have it off the T some of them are much brighter about it than I am but some of them are not some of them believe all this shit that's given over to us as, as reality this is all an illusion this external stuff is all an illusion in the main and all these values and all these uh, these these parameters that are laid on top of us all these templates it's all an illusion created by the people at the top of society they maintain their their control over us that's its purpose it's not there for altruism you don't believe that you believe that <laughs> you believe that you're stupider than even i am i'm not all that bright but I, even i don't believe that anyway listen this is taking a long time to put together People think this all happened yesterday. You just woke up, a baby's born, he's born in this world, and this world just happened five minutes before he was born. Don't work like that. We're transient creatures. We only live for about 70 years. This has been thousands and thousands and thousands of years in the making. And it's based on a lot of real basic hardcore principles. Money, sex, force majeure, all that sort of stuff. That's what it's based on. Might is right. That's what it's based on. All this sort of bullshit about the law and about values and about ethics and all that. And morality. Listen. Listen. The bottom line of it is, I, say, I don't care what you watch me, you don't watch me, these little things. I'm only here for one purpose and one purpose only. And I'm going to keep saying this. I want people to think for themselves. Because at the end of the day, you don't have anybody else. You've only got yourself. You're born into this world alone, and you go out of this world alone. And the interim, and, the, and in the interim, you have social interaction with other people. And a lot of those people are about one thing. A lot of them. A lot of those people have bought into this system, and they're there to crush you. They're there to get ahead. They're there to go up the ladder, come hell or high water. And if you get in their way, they will crush you. Anyway, so that's all. Just think for yourself. That's all. That's all you got to do. And try and impart that notion to your children 
and if possible your grandchildren that's all anyway the uh we'll talk i'm sure lots more about this as we go along okay the i want to talk about three things an article from um uh, last sunday's a few days back uh, the mail sunday mail it's called all right they don't have a website at least I can't find it. I'm sure they probably do, but I can't find it. I couldn't find this article on it anyway. So I scanned it and I put it up and let you can have a have a read of it. No. Yeah, that's a little article there. It's written by a fellow called Jim Power. And he works for a crowd called Friends First here in Ireland. And they're like a, a pensions outfit do all that pensions administration and income protection and all all that sort of peripheral aspects of insurance if you know what I mean okay and uh, wouldn't wouldn't be a big outfit but he's a private he works for them and he's their chief economist so he would have a team underneath him of various other economists and whatever and uh, have a read of that article fascinating he's even more pessimistic than I am I thought the NAMA thing would be would lose possibly 30 35 billion on behalf of the Irish people he says it could lose 50 billion so it's just interesting that I, I seem to be the only one who was saying that for a long long time and uh, so it's interesting to hear other people support your support your notion like you're not like a voice in the wilderness you're not John or whatever his name was coming from the Nazarene anyway uh, so have a read of that if you're interested then the next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about uh, which is sort of slightly slightly connected to it. I want to talk about uh, the set up a, a fund, imagine a property fund in Dublin, but it's to invest in properties in Florida, in the state of Florida, in the United States, and it tells you that some of the prices for the condominiums that are in Florida have dropped eighty five percent. Have to think, you have to get your head around that one. So that's what we have to look for. That's the only reason I'm asking you to have a look at it. I'll put the wee link to it up there and have a look at it, okay? It's out of the Irish Times. Today's Irish Times. Have a look at it. It's fascinating. Because that's what I think that's where I think Irish property prices are gonna go down to. Somewhere around that. About maybe 25 percent. I think they're gonna like we're at about fifty percent now. I think they've got to go down about another thirty percent off the highs of a few years back, two thousand and five, two thousand and six. But this is what they've done in, 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 in these uh, condominiums in Florida. Well, it's unbelievable stuff. So I think that's where we've got to go. Anyway, if, as I say, if you ha want to have a look at it, have a look at it. The other thing is I want to talk about is, uh, it's really the final thing I just want to talk about. I want to talk about uh, the cynicism of these bankers and uh, you know how, how basically they've reduced their business, which is basically money lending. That's, I, how, where did they get this concept of banks? Where did all that come from? That's all they are. All, are, all they are basically is users. Users and money lenders. That's all they are. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing less. Imagine for 15 centuries within the Roman Catholic Church. Usury was a reserved sin. It could only be forgiven by a bishop or above. A priest could not forgive you the sin of usury. Imagine that. Of course... They're leading users themselves now today. So much for their moral principles. But anyway, that's another day's work. Just tells you that uh, it's about Greek defaults and about these credit default swaps, which are insurance elements. It tells you what they are here. It says uh, they're contracts and they're credit default swaps. And they're a f they effectively let banks and hedge funds wager on the financial equivalent of a default by a company or in the case of Greece an entire country and uh, if Greece reneges on its debts traders who own these swaps stand the profit they make huge profits because it's all leveraged they're all bets against leverage okay incremental betting that's what it is so the more the bigger the amount of the default the bigger the, the bigger amount they'll collect on if you know what I mean okay it's real sick stuff sick 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 that's what these banks are. That's what they get their bonuses for. What a world we live in. Crazy world, man, I'll tell you. Which one crazy world? Anyway, we'll talk later. Bye.